with another video for you guys. So I recently went to the Philippines and Japan for summer vacation and I bought some things that I wanted to share with you guys. Most of the things that I got were like pens and pencils and supplies for school since school is starting again. But there are some things that aren't supplies and that I just thought were cute. And some of the things are also presents that I got from family in the Philippines. So without further ado, let's get on to the video. So I am going to be starting off with things that I got from the Philippines because there aren't that many things that I got from there. So starting off, I got this string bag. It's like it has a bunch of food on it and it's really cute and I got this as a present for my aunt and it's just a big open bag like that and it just has a bunch of food on it and I think it's really cute so thank you to my aunt and next I got this pen this pen is in black ink and it's really cute because it has this little keychain on it it's a really thin tip pen it does write in black ink I got this pen. So this pen is by Energel, and I think it's a, a local brand over there. This pen is also thin tip and it is in blue ink. Just kidding, it's in black ink. I got this black ink pen. So this pen is by Avanti and I think that is also a local brand. All the pens that I'm getting by the way are from the National Bookstore which is like a, a supply store over there. It is also a thin tip pen and it's in black ink like I mentioned earlier. So now I'm going to be showing you guys the stuff that I got from Japan. There was a supply shop in Japan that I really like. Most of the supplies, well all the supplies I got there and it's called Loft. That's where I got most of my supplies. Starting off with these, these four items are all erasers. This is an eraser, it's by Mono One. It's a plastic eraser and all of these are brand new, I have not opened them yet. and. You just twist it this way if you want more of the eraser and then twist it the opposite way just to put it back. I also got these three eraser fillers. They're supposed to be for this eraser but since they are the same shape as my pencils from Papermate, I'm just going to be using these to refill those pencils. Next, I got this felt tip pen. So this felt tip pen, I'm not sure what brand it is, but, oh, Touch. So it's by Touch, and it is a felt tip pen that does write in black ink. So these are probably my favorite items that I got. Well, one of the favorite items that I got. But it's a wide out and an eraser that both have Winnie the Pooh on them. Starting off with this eraser, it is also a plastic eraser by Disney. And it has a Winnie the Pooh on it. And I just bought it because it's really cute. And it says, sweet like honey. This wide out is also by Disney. And it also has Winnie the Pooh on it. And I got it because it's really cute. Next, I got this mechanical pencil by Pilot. So this is a mechanical pencil by Pilot. It is 0.5, and something that I thought was really cute is in Japan, when you buy a mechanical pencil, they put this foam on the end of the pencil just to like protect the tip of it so it doesn't break, which I thought was really cool. I got these black ink refillables from Pilot. It comes in a pack of three and it's just black ink. I got this black pen by Fricks and Ball. This pen is also 0.5 and it's pretty thin tip and it is one of those erasable pens. Majority of the pens in Japan are erasable from the store that I went to, which I thought was pretty neat. This pen is 0.4, it's a little bit smaller than the last pen that I showed you, but it is by Pilot as well. This pen is not erasable like the one that I showed you. 
Here's a picture of my lopsided, not so even sunshine. This is a pack of three different color pens. It has black, blue, and red. It's by Frickson Ball, and it's in .5, and they're all erasable pens. The last from Loft is my most favorite item that I got. It's Dr. Grip, and it is a shape pencil. This Dr. Grip pencil that I got is .5, and it is Beauty and the Beast, which is what I love most about it. That was it for the store loft, and now I'm going to be showing you what I got from the Fuji Film World store. I just got a one pack of Fuji Film films for my Polaroid because I just happened to run out of film when I was in Japan. Okay, I'm not quite sure if the store was called Fuji Film World store because I got it a while ago, but I just got it from a Fuji Film store. Next, I went to Hello Kitty Japan, and we just saw this store when we were at the airport, and I got these two packs of wipes because I thought they were really cute. One I opened already, and it is my melody, and I thought it was the cutest thing in the world, but it's just the front that has my melody on it, and the wipes are just regular wipes, which is kind of lame, but it's still pretty cute. And the other pack of wipes I have not opened yet, but it is, of course, Hello Kitty, since it is Hello Kitty Japan, and I just got a pack of those. And it's the same thing, it's the same sort of wipes, but just the outside, the design on the outside is Hello Kitty. These are the two things that I did get from Hello Kitty Japan. The last thing that I did get is from the Tokyo Tower store, which is right under the Tokyo Tower. And I got these two items and here's the packaging for both of the items. I'm going to start off with this one. This is just a keychain of the Tokyo Tower and it does say Tokyo both on the top and on the tower. Next item is a gift for my cousin but I'm just going to open it anyways to show you guys. It's a Hello Kitty pen. It says Hello Kitty Tokyo, and I'm not going to show you guys how it writes just because it is a gift for my cousin But it just looks like this and it has a little keychain of Hello Kitty and the Tokyo Tower on it So that is it for all the things that I got from both the Philippines and Japan I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do please give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below I also have travel vlogs for Bicol, which is a province in the Philippines, Ilocos, and Tokyo, Japan So both of those videos are just vlogs from the Philippines and Japan, just different places of them. So stay tuned for those videos and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!